what's up guys welcome back to the channel happy new year to you as you guys can see from the thumbnail it's time for me to go ahead and change my tires now as you guys can see my tires are in absolutely terrible condition these are absolutely not even safe to ride on anymore so I decided to make the switch from Victoria Corsa Graphene 2.0s to these Victoria Corsa Pro. The new Pro version has reinforced puncture resistance and they're also made for racing. I decided to run the same size which is 700 by 28. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I always start by deflating the inner tube first. And I deflate the inner tube because it's much easier to then remove the tire from the wheel while it's deflated. Now that it's deflated, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the wheel axle. That way I can go ahead and easily remove the wheel from the fork. So now that I got the wheel removed from the bike, the real work begins. So I'll go ahead and be honest and let you guys know that removing Victoria courses in general is very difficult. So what I did here was remove the bead from the rim. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and grabbed some tools. Like I said before, these tires are very difficult to get off. Finally, I was able to pry them off and get the tire off so I could go ahead and begin to replace the tire. So I went ahead and edited out all of the most difficult parts of this video uh, just so that you guys didn't have to watch all the way through it. But I finally got it off as you can see. Now if you're going Victoria Pro like I did, I would recommend that you try to stretch out the tire as much as you can before you even try to install it. The tire gets extremely tight as you go around the wheel. And as you guys can see here, I had to go ahead and grab the tool again just to pry the tire on the wheel. So once I grabbed the tool, I was finally able to use some strength and guide the tire on the wheel. And I gotta admit, I do like the tan wall on the Victoria Corsa Pros much better than the Victoria Corsa Graphene's. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the difference in tires. All right, so now that I got the front tire on, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rear wheel. Now keep in mind, removing these wheels would be much easier if I had a bike stand. But since I don't, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and remove my wheels like this. Finally made some progress in removing the rear wheel. So when I remove my rear wheel, I normally like to put the chain over the wheel axle. safely rested on the ground I can begin putting the tire on now like I said before this process looks much easier than it really was due to editing uh, I didn't want to show you guys much of the struggle that I had putting these tires on but I will say that I did YouTube how to easily install bike tires and I came across a YouTube channel from a YouTuber named GC Performance. Now GC Performance is a YouTuber and he 
basically gives how to videos as well as informational videos on the latest bikes. The strategy that he used was basically to put the tire on halfway. Once you put the tire on halfway, you're able to use that leverage from the tire being on already halfway to simply work your way around starting from the valve to ease that other side of the tire on. So that's basically the method that I used. Thanks to DC Performance for helping me learn a quicker method to get these tires on. So guys, I know people say that Victoria Corsa tires are so expensive, but I'm here to let you know that it's well worth it. The quality of these tires are amazing. And like I said before, I've never had a flat, so those are the tires that I'm running with. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. See you guys in the next one.